Dear students, now we are going to solve one problem in histogram equalization. Describe the histogram equalization and obtain the histogram equalization for the following image segment of size 5 cross 5. Write the inference on image segment before and after equalization. So in this problem, they have given us one 5 cross 1 image segment. We are going to obtain histogram equalization for this image segment. But the first part is describe histogram equalization. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to describe the histogram equalization in the solution part first. So here histogram represents what? A plot of number of occurrence of the gray levels in the image against gray values. So here histogram represents what? A plot of the number of occurrence of gray levels. Okay. So next histogram equalization. So equalization means here we are going to spread out the gray levels in the image to improve the contrast of an image. For example, here we can see this. So how many gray levels are there? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So around 15 to 20 we are having around 6 gray levels. But we are going to spread out this gray level throughout the region. Okay, so instead of this 15 to 20 within the limited area we are going to spread this gray levels across that image that is called as histogram equalization so do you all understand the concept so it is the process of spreading out the gray levels spreading out the gray levels in an image to improve the contrast of an image so here simply we can say it is uniformly distributing the image histogram so histogram is nothing but the gray levels okay over the intensity axis that is Stretching out the intensity range. Do you all understand this one? So first we need to describe what this mean by histogram equalization. Then we can give the steps. The first step is to get the histogram. That is the number of occurrence of the gray levels in the given image. So next we need to find out the cumulative distribution function that is CDF. Then to calculate the new pixel values using this formula CDF multiplied with this maximum gray level. And finally, we need to map the new pixel value with that previous old pixel values. Okay. Next, we are going to obtain the histogram equalization of the given image segment. So this is what the given image segment that is 5 cross 5 image segment. So totally 25 elements are there. Correct. So 25 pixel values are there. So here we can take that maximum pixel value that is what 20. So here they have simply given 5 cross 5 image segment not the number of bits. So number of bits mainly used to represent the resolution of that image. If the bit image is not given we need to find out. So in this given image segment the maximum intensity value is 20. Correct? Here this 20 can be represented by using 5 bits. Correct. This is what the number of bits used to represent the value 20. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Because this value is 1. Here it is 2. Here it is 4, 8, 16. So 16 plus 4 we can get 20. So how many bits are used to represent 20? 5 bits. So the given image is a 5 bit image. Do you all understand this one? Next we are going to find out the maximum level of intensity that is equal to 2 power 5. The number of bits here is 5. So 2 power 5 minus 1. 2 power 5 value is 32. 32 minus 1, 31. Okay, that is the maximum level of this 5 bit image. Okay, next we are going to find out the new pixel values for the given segment using histogram equalization. So this is the format. Okay, so this tabular column is very important. It's very simple one. So in this one, the first column is all about the given pixel values. So first we need to write the pixel values in the ascending order. Smaller to the larger one. So here we can have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So all these values are given in this image segment. That is the first step. Okay. So next column is all about the count. Count means number of occurrence of that particular pixel value. So here... How many 15s are there? You can count this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 7. So totally 7 15s are there. Next 
number of 16s so here 1 2 3 4 next 17 how many 17s are there so here it is 1 2 3 18 1 2 3 4 19 means here we can have only 1 2 and then 20 1 2 3 4 5 do you all understand this one the next step is to get the number of occurrence of that particular pixel value okay so 15 means 7 times 16 4 times 17 3 times 18 4 times 19 2 times and 25 times so next we can get that probability distribution function so probability means here out of 25 7 15s are there right so 7 by 25 for this pixel value 4 by 25 for 17 out of 25 3 17s are there likewise 4 by 25 for 18 2 by 25 and here 5 by 25 so this is what the probability of that particular pixel value so next one is what cdf cdf means what cumulative so cumulative means what we are going to take that first value as it is next we are going to add these two values okay so 7 by 25 plus 4 by 25 7 plus 4 11 by 25 then we can add this two we can get 14 by 25 then these two values 18 by 25 then we are going to add this two values 20 by 25 here it is 25 by 25 that is equal to 1 okay and then the last step is to find out the new pixel value so here for getting this new pixel value of this 15 we can use this formula cdf multiplied with the maximum value of the given image segment so what is that maximum level that is 31 so simply we can take this cdf 7 by 25 multiplied with 31 we can get that value as 8.68 we can approximate that value as a whole number is equal to 9 okay so next new pixel value for the 16 is equal to here cdf is 11 by 25 multiplied with 31 that is equal to 13.64 approximately equal to 14 similarly for 17 we can get 17 here it is 18 means we can get 22 next for this 19 we can get 25 for this pixel value 20 we can get 31 so now we have obtained the new pixel values for the old pixel values so 15 can be replaced by this 9 16 can be replaced by this 14 17 can be replaced by this 17 18 can be replaced by this value 22 and here 19 is 25 and finally 20 is 31 so what we have done so far we are simply stretching out the intensity level that is gray level so before histogram equalization we can have this given image segment but after histogram equalization these values can be replaced correct so after histogram equalization simply we are replacing these values 20 as 31 18 as 22 16 as 14 15 as 9 so now all the gray levels are present from 9 to 31 correct so maximum level is 31 so we can have the whole intensity values across that image segment to enhance it okay next we are going to represent the inference of histogram equalization using the diagram so before histogram equalization we can have the gray levels like this correct only 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay with that count values now after histogram equalization the gray levels are stretching out correct the gray levels are stretching out throughout the intensity levels in the x-axis now we can see that that contrast is enhanced by stretching out or spreading the gray levels across that image do you all understand this one so this is very important concept okay.